Hi guys, welcome back to another chat spat. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday so far. I mean, it's still technically really early on the East Coast, so maybe you're still grumpy and need some more coffee, and I suggest grabbing some because you're gonna need it for this video. So today we're gonna talk about some pretty serious topics, a couple within the beauty community, a couple within other communities on YouTube, and just some really serious kind of topics. So if you guys are interested in seeing what we're gonna be chatting about today, just keep watching. So everybody that we are getting topics from today are fellow creators, so I will leave their channels down below in the description box if you guys are interested in checking them out. They are worth checking out and subscribing to, so I will leave that down below. The first topic is coming from Connie, and she wants to know, can beauty channels be more than just beauty? Can we add other things? Whew. Now, I did see some people in my beauty group discuss this, and they were talking about how they think that people should you know, create other channels if they're not just going to do beauty related things, you know, that they personally subscribe to beauty channels just to watch beauty things. But for me, I have to disagree with that just because I believe that a person can do whatever they want on their channel and it's up to the subscriber to either watch, you know, whatever, they can watch what videos they want to see that person do. You know, if they put up all different kinds of videos, only watch the videos that you subscribe to them for. It doesn't make them any less of a channel just because they put up a couple of videos that you don't want to watch. You know, you can just choose. You're not forced to watch every single video by every single person that you're subscribed to. And for people like us who are fellow creators, that's a little bit impossible because we like to support people. So we subscribe to tons of of people so we can't always watch every single video put out by every single creator so I don't really think it's that big of a deal I mean for me I my whole channel is surrounded by beauty but it's like a tree trunk like I'm like a tree my channel is like a tree beauty is the tree trunk it's the foundation it's the most solid part of the tree that's what I do most here on my channel but there's branches to that tree and my channel just branches out I talk about advice things like this my chat spats you know I talk about product reviewing I do rant videos I mean I do a whole bunch of different videos um lifestyle videos fashion I mean I branch out of the beauty like niche so much that I like to just kind of title my channel as being beauty fashion and lifestyle because I do whatever I want I'm a stay-at-home mom who has a beauty channel but also is a product reviewer and I like to bring that stuff on my channel I think that for me personally I think that you may subscribe to me because you love beauty and I put out a ton of videos and I put out pretty much five videos a week if not more and about 60% of them are always beauty. So you're always gonna get that beauty from me that you subscribe to me from. But I also know that so many of you are so much more than that. You know, you're mothers, you're single mothers, you are pet owners, you know, you have a husband to think about, you have people to shop for, you have family members. And I like to be a source of all of that for you guys. You know, like I like to mix it up sometimes so people aren't getting bored because the beauty community is so saturated, you're seeing everything that I can show you beauty related from thousands of other creators. I want to bring you something that you're not seeing from every other beauty creator. You know, like you, you get to see every review that comes out for every new product within the day, couple of days after it comes out. I don't have that means, but I do have means to do product reviewing and get certain products for your house or your pets or your kids or your husband or other family members. And I know that, you know, you may be watching this loving makeup, but it doesn't mean that you can't love so much other things. And I think that that makes me a well-rounded channel. You know, it doesn't exactly make everybody who just strictly wants to see a beauty channel subscribe to me, but I care more about the people who are subscribed to me. I'm not so much thinking about the people who might subscribe to me. I'm thinking about you guys right now watching this as my viewers. I'm trying to think about you all as a as a whole, as who you are. Yeah, you love beauty, and I'll constantly talk about beauty, but there's so much more to it. There's so much more to you guys, and I respect that as much as I respect it in myself. So I think that having a well-rounded channel and just bringing whatever you want on your channel since it is our channel that is up to the subscriber to watch or not or to subscribe or not you know like you don't have to be one thing and you know with vlogging and stuff like that it, it might be good to be one thing I mean it's never not it's not wrong to just be one thing on your channel to just be one like set thing it's not wrong but I don't think it's wrong to not be one thing either you know so you guys will have to let me know what you guys think as a whole down in the comments I'd really like to know that but for me, I really just think that I'd rather just give people 
a whole bunch of different things to watch and then you guys can choose what you want to see, you know? So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. The next topic is coming from Kayla and she's another product reviewer. I will leave her link below. Like I said before, you guys should really check her out. She's really funny. But she wanted me to respond to the Nicole Arbor Dear Fat People number two and I actually did watch it um, just because it was blowing up around social media and it's in your face enough. I wanted to see exactly what she had to say back to the first one. And I really don't have much to say about it, to be honest. I think that's one of the biggest problems is the fact that, yeah, she gets more hate now than she gets likes, but that only means that everybody who hates her and wants her gone is the only reason why she's not gone. You guys are supporting her whether you realize that or not your hate all the dislikes because she gets more dislikes on her videos now than likes she gets more hate comments and supportive comments and so you guys are literally paying her and keeping her afloat and keeping her on youtube with your hate if you really disliked her that much you would just totally fizzle out and not react not watch nothing and she would just go whoo you know when the first video came out I watched it just to see what she was going to say, just because I didn't get upset at it because she was talking about fat people. I mean, she bashes everybody. And I watch a lot of comedy. My husband watches a lot of comedy. We love stand-up comedy. And they make fat jokes constantly. And we laugh at them. And we are both heavy people. And usually it comes from an overweight comedian, so it helps you relate. And then you can, like, joke about it, or you can just have a laugh at each other, and it just loosens up the crowd. But... You have to be funny. And that's my issue with Nicole. It was my issue before with my first video and it's still my issue today. It's the fact that she hides behind comedy. She uses hate, she projects hate, and hides behind comedy and satire. You know, she calls it comedy, calls it satire, yet she's spewing hateful words that are not funny. She is not funny. I've watched a lot of her videos just to see if I could find one thing that I was like, oh, huh. you know, just even a chuckle. And there was nothing. Her, her editing sucks. Her comedy is, it's not comedy. It is not comedy, okay? I respect comedy and she is not funny. She is yet to make me laugh once. And that's why I, I dislike her as a human. That's why I dislike her as a channel. And that's why I think that we should just all stop even the hate just let this girl fizzle out and let her just leave because all she cares about is fame and money. And even with the hate, that's what she's getting is fame and money. Like, just ignore her. She's not there. Who's Nicole Arbor? And the last topic is coming from Alex, who you guys just saw me do a collab with. And she wants to talk about when women get hit on during interviews. Now, Alex, we didn't talk about this too long. And I'd really love to hear you in the comments tell me what actually happened when this happened to you like what did you do because knowing who you are as a person i'd really like to know your reaction because we are a, a lot alike when it comes to personality and mouthiness and bluntness and i'd really like to know what you would have done in that position because i know what i would have done and i'm about to tell you so i guess what happened was it was only tuesday and alex was like i've gotten hit on twice in interviews and it's only tuesday and she wanted to talk about it and i was just like are you kidding me? Like, that is really happening right now. Now, I don't know. You guys will have to leave it in the comments if this has ever happened to you before. I've personally only ever been interviewed by women, and I've never had that problem. I've never been hit on. But for me personally, if that ever did happen to me, I would have probably stood up, asked to see their boss. If they were the boss, I would have contacted HR. I would have walked out. I mean, depending on the severity of it, I would have called the police. Um, I would have punched him in the face, you know, something like that. Maybe I would have been arrested. Who knows? It's not okay. It's not ever okay because they're already devaluing you and de disrespecting you. When you first walk in the door, you're not even hired yet. And they're already telling you, hey, here's a little bit of disrespect. Can I see your tits? You don't want to work in an environment where you've already been devalued before you even get hired. You know, that's what you have to look forward to because usually the people interviewing you are people in seniority of you, like your bosses or people you're going to be working very closely with. And you don't want to be in that kind of environment, especially with Alex, because I know that she's a taken woman, you know, and any woman doesn't want to be devalued. You know, no woman deserves that. No man deserves that either. You know, it can go both ways. Getting hit on during an interview is very, very disrespectful. It's unprofessional. And I wouldn't work at that establishment unless they fired that person who did it. I would be like, I would go to their boss or HR and I'd be like, fire them and I'll work for you. Other than that, you have a lawsuit, buddy. 
So Alex, please leave us a comment down below and let me know what you did. But I want to know everybody else's opinions on this as well. Has this ever happened to you? What would you do if it did happen to you? Leave me a comment down below. I'm really intrigued to know what you guys think about this. So that is everything that we're going to talk about in this chat spat. Some really good topics here this time. So I really hope we can start a great conversation in the comments. I will, of course, be there waiting to talk to you girls. I love Wednesdays. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.